a fiber artist and I create wearable art. I use freestyle knitting and I use different fiber techniques as uh, stitching, hand sewing, crocheting. It's mostly freestyle, so you never know what you're gonna get in the end. That's the beauty of that. I actually grew up in the south of Ukraine, the place called Sevastopol, so it's in Crimea. When I was growing up, it was Soviet Union. The government pretty much want us be the same. So we have those very awful uniforms. So it was brown, it was awful. I never want to be the same like everyone else. I want to always stand out of the crowd. So since I was a child, I start to sketch the ideas for my clothes and I had a seamstress lady, she was sewing things for me. It was amazing. And you know what, all my friends was always, why did you find it? Because you couldn't find anything in the stores. It was empty. Most of my inspiration comes from nature. I'm a big fan of nature, hiking, kayaking. I love to travel. I always have my sketchbook handy. It's almost in my bag. But sometimes you go somewhere you know, in the jungles, you don't have your sketchbook, so it's always nice to have your phone. So I would make some pictures and later on after the trip, I like to go and see those pictures, I start to draw and pick up the yarns, you know, just get all those balls of yarn that remind me of some beautiful flower. All my yarns are very luxurious. They mostly come from Italy, they come from France. They have very interesting texture. To start my project, I would have to gather some different yarns together. So, and I just start to work. I pretty much know what shape it's gonna be, but I don't know how the color is gonna end up, how the texture gonna look. So I'm just having fun with that. That's gonna come up as a surprise. And some of the pieces I have to hand sew after all, and then I have to crochet around the edges. So I use a lot of different skills for that. First of all, I want every woman to feel herself beautiful. So that's my goal. I want to bring beauty to the world and I want them to feel fabulous and unique. And uh, I just want them to be themselves, but showing something different, something unique. That's my goal is. I'm very happy that I moved to this country because I believe if you work hard, if you're creative, if you're passionate, you can succeed. Because in my country, I never thought about doing what I do for a living. I had day-to-day -day job. I was a librarian. I was in the Navy and I work in the bank. So, and that was always a hobby of mine. So here I was able, able to not create a hobby, I was able to make living out of that. So I believe that America just made me who I am and I'm very happy in this country. I really hope I'll be strong enough and healthy enough to do this till the day I die, <laughs> hopefully. That's my passion, that's what I love to do. Watch full episodes of Artisodes every Thursday at 8 p.m. on WUCF-TV.